Hey everyone, Doug with Impart DNA. Today I'm going to be reviewing a um, Saber Forge Exile lightsaber that I put together from scratch and dent parts. So um, let's get started. We'll get started with the numbers. This is almost exactly 11 inches, just about a sixteenth of an inch short of 11 inches in its current configuration right at an inch and a half here in the grip section and just under two inches up here in this upper section. So as I mentioned earlier, I put this together from scratch and dent parts. Uh, I think it's really interesting. So normally, um, the Exile, which by the way is a Quinlan Voss um, inspired lightsaber. Normally it would have silver down below, the black underneath here, and then this outside portion is usually silver. So we've got a mixture. And in this one, all of the upper parts are black and the bottom is silver. So I kind of like this better. It, it definitely is interesting in that you've got this kind of light and dark juxtaposed against each other. I like it. With a blade, this comes in at one pound, 11.1 ounces, which is 27.1 ounces or 770 grams. All right, without a blade, we're looking at one pound, 2.1 ounces, which is 18.1 ounces or 512 grams. As you can see, I have a really kind of plain and flat pommel on here. And I have, I put on a black cover tech wheel to kind of play off of the black upper part. To match Quinlan Voss's lightsaber, I have a green LED in here. Got a champion set up there's a place um for several thumb screws and kind of greeblies so we i have two of the smaller um kill key store thumb screws in here it's just i had them laying around and i thought this was interesting this particular thumb screw has a couple of kind of stages to it and it fits in this hole perfectly so there's really no significance in the colors other than that's what I had laying around but I kind of like the red against the black and then I kind of like that these don't match so that it kind of looks like they might serve different purposes I don't know all in all I really like this saber it's Really comfortable down here at the bottom, easy to control. Uh, but I find myself wanting to grip it most from up here, which is not always comfortable. This outer shroud here, it's got a couple of pointy places on it that can, that can catch this, but particularly these corners right here. lightsaber sounds really good but um, I found that I want to hold it here for the most part most of the time I really like it it's not necessarily my favorite lightsaber but it has grown on me a lot never really wanting this lightsaber when I was able to put one together from my scratch and dent parts kind of pleasantly surprised I, I really like it it's got enough to be interesting but it's not Fancy by any stretch of the means. Um, 
So this is going to be one of our giveaway videos. All you have to do is to subscribe, like, and comment on this video for a chance to win several prizes. Uh, I think we have about 10 or 11 blade plugs to give away and two lightsabers. So in order to win any of that, all you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment on any and or all of the lightsaber giveaway videos for additional chances to win. So that's enough what I have to say. I want to hear what you have to say. What do you think about this uh, scratch and dent exile? You like it? You don't like it? What do you think about the regular exile? The current saber is the exile mark two. What do you think about it? Like it? Don't like it? Throw me some comments down below. It really does help out the channel and I really enjoy talking to you guys. So um, if you like this content, let me know with a big thumbs up. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching.